Hello everyone, I'm Kevin, otherwise known as Forum BX257, here to bring you another old G.I. Joe toy review, and today I'll be doing one of those fan favorites, the Cobra Command Attack Glider, 1983 Viper Glider with its Viper Pilot. Now what I have here is actually the Argentine version, uh, I don't have the US version of the box, but I do have the version of the toy. Uh, the only differences between the, the U.S. version and the Argentine version is the uh, the Argentine version actually uh, does not come with the figure picture, which is basically the, the U.S. figure. It, it, this actually just comes with a uh, Cobra Soldier. The, the other thing too is the stickers were actually inverted in color, the U.S. and Canadian version. Actually, the stickers even shown here are red, a red Cobra with a black background, but the Argentine version flip those colors and has a black Cobra with a red background for some strange reason. The Cobra uh, Viper Glider first appears in comic book number 11 back in May of 1983 and in the cartoons it first appears in the second part of the very first five-parter of G.I. Joe Real America Hero. The Viper Glider is made up of three main components. The first of which is the main wing itself which is a massive 20 inch wide piece of foam which is extremely thin. The second component is the rudders or vertical stabilizers. Unfortunately these are only these only have the camouflage printed on one side so if you're looking for a replacement you have to be sure you're either getting the right or left side of these things. To put these on it's best to hook the front end in and then push down on the rear spot until it gets to place. The third component is the support frame. Now the support frame has uh, circular pegs on the back side so when you push them in through here, they hook on to the open holes here. The nice thing is, is that the pegs themselves have a, have a slight angle to them which certainly aids in pushing it in. You'll also notice that there's a kind of a groove here uh, halfway through and that's for this which is just a plain old elastic band which was actually originally included with the uh, Viper Glider. This here, what I have, is a, a recent addition. It's, I, I believe, a small motor elastic band belt. Here I have the original, which is, well, disintegrated obviously, and that's why I've replaced it with what I believe is, to be quite honest, the closest I've ever found to the original. You just wrap it around until it gets into the roof and then you can push the whole thing in and now here's what you have to hold the figure on and it really does need this extra <laughs> elastic band because even though this does act as a seat belt the actual peg for the figure's back is actually a very smooth very straight peg. I'm not quite sure why they designed it that way because ordinarily what you'd have is a sort of a tapering cross here. One curious thing about the instructions at least on the US version is that even though they tell you how to hold on to the glider in order to throw it it doesn't really give you any of the specifics on how to uh, really play with it. In other words how to make it loop or fly upwards or straight. Those, those types of instructions were actually on the box. Here I have the Canadian versions which actually eliminates some of the care pictures that were on the US version in favor of the three of the examples on how to move the ailerons up or down on the glider in order to make it fly around the way you want. The ailerons being these 
sort of pre-cut or pre-perforated parts on the ends which you could lift, lift or lower. Of course I'm not going to do that because this thing is just so fragile if I do that these sections will just crack right off. The included Cobra Viper pilot is nothing more than just a reissue of the swivel arm Cobra Soldier, but instead of a red symbol, the Viper Pilot has a silver symbol. Now the silver symbol is exactly what makes the figure extremely, extremely hard to come by because that silver symbol rubs off so very easily. And as you can see from the framework as he's going to be sitting on here, his chest is actually going to be quite exposed and basically if this thing lands properly, it will land right on his chest and rub that symbol right off during normal play. Unfortunately, because he is so rare and kind of sought after, as a result, there are a few reproductions. I would, I would hesitate to call them fakes or bootlegs because they're really meant to be honest replications of the figure. However, there are multiple ways you can sort of tell the difference between a real one and a fake one. A real one, as mine has, will have tinted bolts on the arms rather than painted or just left raw. Of course the bolts will also be in the same orientation as any other figure with the bolt facing outwards on the shoulders and inwards on the elbows. And then of course you have to look at the waistline. The waistline on both the Cobra Soldier and the Viper Pilot will have the belt painted black but just right above it I guess you can call that the pant line. That's actually just the raw plastic blue because that's a very well made paint mask that the Casbro factory had whereas on a fake it's usually all black because that's really hard to mask. Another thing you want to look at is the orientation of the symbol. To be quite honest the symbol on a genuine one it actually looks a little off-centered. It's a, it's a little strange in that regard. Whereas I found that uh, they've actually made it a little more centered on the reproduction. The third and final way you can, you can absolutely tell, because even though I've just described all these uh, parts, it's really just the one uh, front chest part to the figure which really makes it a Viper pilot. Everything else can really basically be changed out with a Cobra Soldier. However, the molding on the inside, if you actually take the figure apart, the molding on the inside chest is very sophisticated with uh, sprues that will, will still be in there. Whereas on a self-made replication, it'll probably be a little more rougher and a little bit smoother. So that is unfortunately ultimately the only way you can tell is by taking the figure apart. And just as a figure which is basically a replication of a Cobra Soldier, even the file card is basically just the same as a Cobra Soldier, just adding a secondary military specialty as a Viper pilot and a uh, being a graduate of Cobra Viper school, whatever, whatever that is. And here we have the figure, just sort of on there. And as you can see, the figure actually kind of uh, sits kind of uh, far back.
B Quadrilateral this has become one of my favorite vehicles, uh, even though I've only bought it recently. As a matter of fact, when I was actually buying it, the person I bought it from actually a joke saying that you should probably not uh, actually throw this, seeing as it's 30 years old. But apparently, he didn't know me very well. Well, that's all the time I have right now. Please check out my Facebook page for more information and behind the scenes photos for these reviews. Thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for next time to see another 1980s G.I. Joe tour review. See you then.